along the way now, as I remember, you told me that uh, you went from lycée on to medical school, mm -hmm. and so you must have started that at, what, age 18 or so, and that was a uh, six-year uh, program exactly, or seven-year exactly, program? It was a five-year program, uh, plus a necessary dissertation, thesis, la thèse de médecine, to get the MD degree. And uh, I'd always been interested in doing some work in a laboratory. I had no idea what this was, since when in my medical studies in the school in Dijon, we had no such thing. We had no laboratory experience and so on. And uh, what brought me to, uh, to America, uh, you know, I was 24 when I uh, came to, uh, actually to Montreal. I had heard, uh, I never knew exactly how, that there was this man called Hans Selye. I had read right. about stress right. and, and so on, was coming to give three lectures in Paris. So I managed to go to Paris, listen to those lectures, and I couldn't believe what I was hearing and see. You know, they were colored slides on the screen. Really? I never heard of that. It was really, see, during the war, we were really cut off from the rest of He's now doing research and, and uh Oh, yeah. So when yeah. you hear about the, the neuro, neuroendocrine yeah, ideas... Yeah, I must, add, uh, oh, yeah. I must add an episode which turned out to be major in my life. Uh, three of us young people in the laboratory uh, became acutely sick with TB. And we never knew, we had never been known where it came from and so on. One of them died very fast. Another had a lobectomy for birth. And I had TB meningitis. Well, that's very, very and serious. And I knew it was very serious. So immediately, uh, with the Canadian, the French Canadian mm -hmm. physician, I was sent to Notre Dame Hospital. Where I had spinal taps with streptomycin, which had come out the year before. Right, you were lucky. It was that high dose <laughs> streptomycin. I had those taps every day for one for one month, and uh, everything turned out okay. So much so that I married the head nurse. That's the best part of the story. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, sure. And uh, you know, I never, I, I, I never understood about TB meningitis. In the whole time that, that I was in training, was a terrible disease, and it did happen in children. And that was the one thing we were worried about in children who developed TB that they would have TB meningitis. Yeah. And so you got. Streptomycin before, I mean, right at the, from the, the beginning of streptomycin, and that's where it was used. And exactly. then INH and PAS and all the sure. rest of them came that's later, but yeah. having that, had that streptomycin, and actually having a strain of, of tuberculosis that had never been exposed to that antibiotic no, before, no, no, meant yeah. that it would be very, very sensitive, so sure. it all worked. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah.